episode, we will be running through a couple of tips for Electrical's workday. And since some of you have PM'd and asked, we will also share with you a breakdown of our Electrical's quotation and the unique cost of the scope of work performed. Tip number one, we mentioned this in an earlier video and want to stress the importance of this again. You must continue to refine and be familiar with your electrical plan, especially if you are DIYing your own smart home. This will really save a lot of time. Yep, it is your home after all and only you can plan it in a manner that makes sense for your family workflows and needs. Don't expect your ID to give you any advice on these things lah, because they rarely go into such detailed planning for you. So what you see on the screen now is completely done by ourselves on PowerPoint. As its name rightfully suggests, get it? Anyway, for example, if you are planning to have smart curtains and blinds, you need to convey the requirements to your electrician. We are going to run through three different models in our rooms. Sleeping room will be a single smart curtain motor connected to a socket located at the top. Our study room will be a smart blinds motor wired to a dumb master switch. The living room is the most complicated. We will have two smart curtain motors that we want wired to a physical smart switch. This is also because we do not really like the Opiang remote control and for aesthetics, it will look great to have all our switches in the living room look the same. In short, for all our smart home devices, we want to achieve automation using Samsung SmartThings and voice control using Google and yet retaining the physical controllability as well as a remote option. Hopefully this works and we'll share more about our smart home setup in a future video. Tip number two. Yeah, yeah. Leave it. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> Your Chinese so feel uncle cannot understand. Okay. Try to make time to be on site to observe and address any questions on the spot with the electricians. Our ID and the lead electrician that we met on site last time were both not around. So luckily we were there because there were some instructions not communicated properly to the staff and they were still referencing the outdated hieroglyphs on the wall. This will mitigate any delays downstream when certain things were not installed according to plan and needs to be rewired, affecting other processes like tiling and partition works. If you do go down on Electrical's Day, remember to get ear muffs, safety goggles and face masks. It was the first time we ever saw how Electrical's are done and we never knew it would be this loud and dusty. Yeah, there was so much dust at one point that our electrician <laughs> disappeared in the fog. And now we will talk about our Electrical's quotation. Our electricals cost about 4 grand for a 4 room flat and like most ID firms, this is quoted separately at a much later stage as a VO, separate from your initial ID quotation. So do remember to do some mental accounting and factor that in. We also managed to look at several other homeowners electricals quotations shared in our video telegram chat. We compared apple to apple the per unit costs of different scope of work and found that while we were charged higher for certain things, it was offset by lower costs for other things. Sometimes if they are nice, they would give you a discount, but ours didn't lah. Anyway, let's run through the per unit cost of the keywords done. Starting with power points. So installation of a single power point is $70. More difficult to reach areas like false ceiling power point cost $80. Installation of double power point is $80. Double is of course more value for money compared to single sockets. And always nice to have more around the house. For power tracks like Line 8, the point would cost $80 and the installation of power track itself is another $40. Installation of other points are $80 for the hood, $150 for the 20A hop and $140 for the oven. To relocate a data point costs $130. Switches Installation of master switch control for say curtains costs $110. Relocation of a switch is $80. Laying of neutral wires is $40 per room and it's actually required or recommended for most smart switches. Lighting and fans. Installation of a LED point is about $60 to $80 depending on size. So we have a couple of these in the kitchen and bathrooms. Remember to start to think about your bathroom mirrors too. For instance, whether or not it has an inbuilt LED such as the one we are getting. This is best communicated to the electrician early on so that wiring can be concealed with your towels. Installation of lights itself also costs quite a bit, about $40 each. What? Um, pendant light costs more at $55, no idea why, but maybe because it is more leche. And shifting of light point is $75. What are your thoughts about the per unit cost that we were charged? Are they reasonable? How do they compare to yours? Share with us in the comments down below. Of course, if you are watching this video 5 to 10 years later, please don't compare. <laughs> we forgot to mention that the prices quoted do not include the actual switches and sockets. You will have to get them yourselves. We spent the past few months amassing them whenever there are e-commerce sales. You know the drill. Dates like 9 9 10 10 11 11 are perfect for e-commerce shopping. Stack your vouchers and you can actually save quite a lot.